If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Artillery series. In this episode, we are going to see an interesting topic in performance testing, which is correlation. Correlation is nothing but handling the dynamic data, particularly from the response. It is a process of fetching the response data and storing it into a variable and you will pass into the subsequent requests. You can use regular expression, you can use JSON path or XPath, it depends on the implementation of a tool. It is one of my favorite topics in performance. Now let us see how it can be done in Artillery. Artillery uses something called capture. Using this capture method, you can leverage either JSON path for your JSON payload, for uh, XML you can use XPath and for any other typical uh, content you can use the regular expressions. And also it uses the library called Cheerio. You can leverage the selector attribute to fetch the data. So here in the snapshot, we are just hitting a simple rest endpoint and we are capturing the first name using the JSON path and we are storing the value into a variable called first name. And using the double brackets syntax, you can just map this wherever you want to call. You can just specify in this format. Artillery will be able to send the actual value. Now let us see a quick demo with various examples and you will learn how you can leverage the capture method in artillery. So here I have three different examples with varying complexity. Let us begin with something simple. In this example, we are hitting the example.com and let us try to retrieve the title of the web page. Line number 9 to 14, we have the first capture group. So basically you can list out the multiple captures because capture object is an array. And line number 10, we have something called strict, which is true. Basically, if there is no match for our regular expression, the subsequent request will fail. But if you want to turn this off, you can just flip this to false. And line number 11, we have written a simple regular expression in JavaScript. Usually I use regex 101 which is an excellent uh, tool to test your uh, regular expressions. So please uh, use the tool before you write it and try it here. Now the next step is we are storing the captured value into a variable called extract underscore title. And here we are mentioning the group number. So line number 13, we have to specify uh, which group you want to extract. Since we are using uh, only one group here, so I'm going with one. And optionally you can use the flags. Suppose if you want to ignore case or if you want to do a multi-line search or global search, you can turn this flag and enter the valid character. And next capture is we are capturing the header information, which is content length. And we are storing that content length in extract underscore content underscore length. And again, we are using the group as one. And line number 21 and 22, we are just printing whatever we have captured in the earlier capture object and then we are just printing for our debugging purpose. Now let us run this particular example. Just type artillery run and example underscore regex dot yaml and hit enter. So this will display the title of the example.com and also it will display the content length. As you see here, extracted title is example domain and extracted content length is 1, 2, 5, 6. So this is a very simple example in artillery, how you capture the data from the response and header. Now let us switch our gears and let us try to capture multiple groups. So in this example, we are just hitting the JPET store and we are navigating to fish product page and we are trying to retrieve two captured groups. So basically the href and the value. And here you have to just follow the directives. And now if you execute this particular example, it will capture the group one. So basically it will go this particular group and then it will just print it here. But in case we want to capture the second group, you have to just change the group value from one to two and execute again, you will get the right value. So this is how you use multiple capture groups and based on your requirements, you can just enter the group number in your capture object. Now let us go further. So in this example, 
we are just capturing the uh, JSON uh, payload and then we are just passing it in the subsequent request. So here line number 23 to 37, we are sending the URL uh, slash widths. Basically, it will uh, uh, create the widths and we are capturing the ID of the created width. And it is storing into the variable called ID. And in the line number 40, actually we are sending the whichever ID we have captured in the previous step. Now let me clear my screen and let us uh, execute this. So now in the summary report, as you see, there is HTTP code 200. Basically the line number 40 URL got executed. And line number 24, which has the uh, 201, which got created. And here I'm not printing any logs. Basically, we are not seeing any failure. So it is working as expected. In next video, we will see how to debug the artillery script so that you can make sure your script is actually working. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.